Fuming when he came home, but rugby's a tough sport, so you've just got to get on with injuries. What do you think Rafford has to uh, improve on? Um, I think I thought. Um, don't really know. They've just got to keep doing what they're doing. They're playing uh, well in league one, aren't they? Obviously, they want to get back to championship, so that's where they want to be. That's where they belong. Uh, now, uh, how is your season going? Yeah, it's going good. We're third in division three. Uh, we've got a game Sunday against Sunset Parkside. Um, we play for Ber- I play for Berkshire Blue Dogs. Uh, yeah, we're a good team. Cheers, George. Cheers. So we are here today with young Rafa fan Declan. How are we? Good. What did you think of that first half? Well, it was kind of tough, but we got a lot of tries. So I'm just happy with what they're doing so far. Now, would you be able to show us who your favourite player is? Mikey Wood. <laughs> um, what do you think uh, the Bradford needs to improve on? Uh, I th- it's like I uh, don't know really. Maybe a bit more defence. Yeah, a bit more defensive wise because they've seen gaps where they could run through, but they've not been seeing that chance to do it. Okay. Uh, now, um, how many years have you been going to Bradford? Uh, I think I was, I've been since I was maybe two or something. But it's been a really good experience uh, supporting these young lads. Uh, now, um, if you had to rate Bradford uh, this year from one to ten, how would you rate them? Uh, I'd rate them about seven for the the games that they've won so far. Thank you, Declan. Thank you. So we're here today with the uh, former Rafa player and uh, current uh, Whitehaven head coach, Workington, Workington sorry, uh, Leon Price. How are we? I'm Bob, how are you? I'm good. Happy birthday. On Thursday. Happy birthday. How old are you going to be? 12. Happy birthday. First Thursday. Uh, now, how do you feel your season is progressing? Not too bad. Yeah, we're doing all right. Just, just coming along nicely. Um, it's all right, yeah. Not too bad. Now, what is the important importance of grassroots rugby? Oh yeah, it's the most important part of the game. Isn't it? If you don't have any kids playing, then um, you don't grow to be adults and play at the at the big level. So, grassroots is is and always will be the most important part of rugby. Letting kids enjoy the game, have fun. Why do you play? Uh, play for Whipsy. Whipsy, do you like enjoy it? Yeah, I enjoy do you it. Play for Bulls one day. Definitely. Absolutely, I think you can do it. Uh, now, what were it like um, coming back to Rafford last year? Yeah, a bit of a nightmare, really. <laughs> Let's not go there, no? <laughs> uh, how do you feel uh, Bradford's doing this season? We're doing really well, yeah. It's good to, it's good to see him up at, back up at top of the table with some um, some good players. I've got a really good coach in John Keir. Getting some good fans back as well. Getting three, I think they've got 4,000 last week. So I think we're the only team to beat him this year. Um, but I think between... You mentioned that you you are the only team to beat us. Um, what are your plans for uh, when you come down here? Um, just to enjoy the day out. Really, it'd be nice to come back as as a coach uh, against you know the best, probably probably not going to be the best team in the league. So I'm only instead of travelling two and a half hours up to Cumbria, I can get in my car and. Drive five minutes down the road, so yeah. it'll be nice and easy. I won't have to travel too far. Are you going to come to that game? Yeah. Do you go to every game? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, now, um, how do you feel uh, changing from player to head coach? It's good, yeah. Well, I, when I was still playing in the last two or three years, I, I, 
couldn't really play anymore. My legs were hurting me too much. My body were my body were tired. So now I can tell them what to do. Them wrong, do all the fitness. Tell them shout at them if they do stuff wrong, uh, and not have to do any work myself. So I, I'm, I was ready to retire probably two or three years ago. Just tried to to hang on there to keep on going, but my body's my body were, my body were tired on all. So I'm enjoying coaching. Does it make a difference? Does what make a difference? Coaching. Yes, and yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's been, it's good to be involved in the game. Just like like you talk about grassroots, you know, when you get to end of your career and you still want to be involved in the game, and then it's nice to be able to to coach and pass on advice and just pass pass on knowledge that you've been given when when you were when you when. I York, there. Um, how much does Uncle Jeff love it? How much what? How much does Uncle Jeff love it? My Uncle Jeff. Yeah. Love York. Oh, he's a legend at York, isn't he? And Steve, Steve's a legend as well. Um, dad, my dad played there for a little bit, so yeah, it's, what they're doing there is fantastic. I think I looked at the crowds the other day, and I think they've gone, f they've nearly doubled every year. They're up to getting like nearly up to 2,000 now, average this year, which is absolutely fantastic compared to 600, 600 about three years ago. So what they're doing there is really good. They've got a really good coach as well. James Ford is a is a very good coach. So I think if any team that can challenge Bradford for number one spot, I'll bet is York. Cheers, Leo. Thank you. Thank you. Right, who's, yeah. up? who's interviewing who first? I'll do you first. Go on then. So we're here today with Wagataurus. How are we? Oh, wait till it puts on, we'll start again. Sorry. I'm pitch side and I don't know who to interview because it's the, it's the power of the mic. Right, I'll let you interview right. me first. So we're here today with Wagataurus. How are we? Awesome. I'm ecstatic to be back at Bradford Bowls where I used to play on this field. The guys are doing really well, 14-4, so happy man. What would you like to come back to Bradford today? Oh, awesome. Uh, the club, uh, I had four years here, obviously still really good friends with the likes of Jamie Langley, uh, Paul Deacon. Um, there's some great players playing at this great club, Sam Burgess, uh, and I want the club to get back to where it needs to be. Plus, uh, I'm real good friends with uh, Ashley Gibson as well, so it's good to see uh, him playing really well. and uh, good, good club, good set of guys. Uh, so, uh, how was the Yorkshire-Lancashire match for you? Awesome. You, I never get bored of beating Lancashire, especially in them games. Yeah. I got a cut, little war wound there, five stitches, flew out of the line, tried to smash Mick Cassidy, and he had seven stitches, I had five, but good to get the boots back up. Uh, now, um, what, uh, who's your favourite player on the Bradford team? Favourite player? I love Ashley Gibson because he's a close friend, but uh, I'm a big fan of Chisel Chips, is it? Big yeah, Chisel. Yeah. Uh, is a, is, a, is a good kid, is a character as well, but uh, I'll, be, I'll be really impressed with your hookers. I think the nine spot is really healthy. Yeah. Sam Alice, uh, obviously outstanding player. Uh, Vila Halafihi, if I pronounce that right. Halafafi. Halafafi. Halafafi, Halafafi. Is that what we call him? Yeah, we call him Halafafi. Halafafi then. Halafafi, <laughs> right. And obviously you've got Charles Flanagan, character. So, Standing. So there's, there's some great players, mate. There's some great talent coming through. Now, for uh, those people that know you, you like to down a pound, pint. Now, how drunk are you today? Oh, I've only had one pint. Everyone says I'm smashed at game days, Waggers game days. I'm not. I've been to the top house, had a pint, met King Kenny. I'm off up there to play a bit of a drum in a minute, just mingling with the fans. That's what I love about rugby league. Without the fans, there'd be no game. Cheers, Wagga. Legend, right, my turn. Your turn. Right, I'm joined by this little mister, the legend himself. And it's your birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday. On, on Thursday. On Thursday, but... On Thursday. Happy birthday early. On yeah. Thursday. Right, introduce yourself. Name and what are you doing here today? Uh, I'm reporter Reese and I'm junior report for Bradford Bulls. Junior report for Bradford Bulls. What is your aspirations? What, what do you want to do? Uh, do you want to come on Rugby M? Yes. Yeah, work with me, Simo, Joseph. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll get you a gig. You can take my spot when I retire. <laughs> <laughs> no. what, what do you love about Rugby League and reporting on it? I just love uh, how uh, the fans can uh, really incorporate um, and they really understand uh, my way. Yeah. I, I think you're brilliant. I think you're questioning where outstanding. Because it's nerve-wracking sometimes. 
questioning. Because uh, when I were a player, I used to get asked a question so it were easier answering. But when you have to think of questions to ask, it's tough, isn't it? Yeah. What do you enjoy most about your job? Uh, I enjoy just uh, meeting the players and seeing what their opinions are. Who's your favourite player? Sam Hallis. Sam Hallis, good player, isn't he? Yeah. Right, let's enjoy the game together. Awesome, you're better than me, by the way. <laughs> this guy, watch out for this guy, he's coming for my job. Follow me on that reporter, Reese. Oh, shout out. Follow me on that reporter, Reese. Follow this guy, legend. Cheers, man.